Hey guys, I'm news about Paris. Now, when I was on Snapchat or actually Instagram, I saw this post about Paris and there was a shooting. So let's figure out what is going on. Because I hate to see um, people get killed and other things. So let's see what's happening in Paris. Oh, God. You know, I hate hearing these sad stories. It's like, I don't know, they're just terrible. They're really terrible. So let's see. Oh, God. I'm scared to even read it. So. Paris shootings and explosions leave at least 35 dead, nearly 100 taken hostage. Update. As many as 100 people were killed in the attack at the Paris concert venue, Bataclan. Police said Saturday, according to agents, France presents and Associate Press via NBC News. Eagles of Death Metal, who was supposed to perform at the Battle Clan, has taken to Facebook to write, we are still currently trying to determine the safety and whereabouts of all our band and crew. Our thoughts are with all the people involved in this tragic situation. Paris's president, Francis Frankos Hollande, has declared a state of emergency and closed the country's borders Friday, after a string of violent attacks hit the city Friday night, leaving at least 35 dead, according to multiple reports. Per NBC News, several people were shot when people opened fire at a cafe in the 10th arrondissement in Paris, while other reports state there were also utilities at the nearby Bacca Clan Theater where about 100 hostages were being held. The American band Eagles of Death Metal, which in the past has included Dave Grell and Jack Black as members, were supposed to perform at Bacca Clan when attackers began taking hostage. E! News has learned that neither Grell or Black were scheduled to play in Paris. And NBC News reported that frontman Josh Holm had not traveled with the band to Paris either. Mary Lou Doris, the mother of drummer Julian Dorio, told the Washington Post that her son is safe and that his wife had told her the other band members had managed to escape. The fate of other members of their crew is currently unknown. Additionally, three explosions reported rocketed, rocketed, the Stade de France Stadium during a match between the French and German national terms. President Barack Obama addressed the nation about the attacks on Friday, saying it is not just on Paris, not just on the people of France, but this is an attack on all of the humanity and the universal values that we share, and referred to the country as our oldest ally. Those who think that they are can terrorize the people of France or the value that they stand for are wrong. Obama continued, this is a heartbreaking situation, and obviously those of us here in the United States know what it's like. We've gone through these kinds of episodes ourselves. Former U.S. Secretary of Homeland Security Michael Chetoff tells MSNBC that it is that it's too early to tell the motive behind these attacks, but social media posts from reported ISI, ISIS supports Supporters could indicate that there were, was a group waiting for this, but it could be a group watching. Shirto said, I, think, I don't think we can say this proves anything, but again, it's supposed to the idea is to ter- terrorism. E! News, e! Online and NBC News are both part of the NBC Universal family. I just hope everybody who survived is okay, because this is, I don't know, I don't know how to explain it. Um, but I hope everybody's okay right now because um, it's like what happened with 9-11. There were lots of people who got killed and lots of people who survived, some people who survived, but it's a really bad situation. I hope everybody's okay. Thanks, guys, so much for listening. Prayers are always there for people. Bye.